Hey, how's it going? And welcome back to some more Total War Attila. We're going to be diving straight back into Medieval Kingdom's Total War and trying to achieve the 100 Years War Challenge where we play as England and basically our sole objective is to survive the Magna Carta that will fire in a couple years as well as destroy France. Now, I know the 100 Years War is set in like 13... It's like 100 years in the future. However, you know, we'll be doing it a little bit earlier trying to achieve dominance over France and secure ourselves a nice little kingdom as... England. So if you guys enjoy these type of videos, be sure to go ahead and drop a like and a comment down below. Let me know if what you want to see next, whether it's maybe taking Jerusalem as the Ayyubid Sultanate or forming the Byzantines. There's plenty of stuff we can do in this mod and I feel like these type of videos are quite good because the mod obviously is in closed alpha at the moment and it's not incomplete. So doing these kind of one-off challenge videos could be quite fun. So if you guys have any good ideas down below in the comments, just let me know. Um, but yeah, let's get this bad boy started. We've been playing as King John and and things are going to be getting interesting very quick. Whoever said England isn't a beautiful holiday destination do not know what they're talking about. I mean, just look at the glorious weather and the sunny beaches that we have here in England. It is beautiful. I honestly cannot stress that enough. So as England, we start off with a pretty nice little consolidated empire. We have these five provinces, uh, one full province as well, these five cities in this full province, which is very, very nice. However, we're kind of left in a precarious spot because, you know, my stupid brother, Richard Lionheart, went off crusading and left this kingdom to die. And now I, the glorious King John, have to try and put it together, you know. King John never did anything wrong whatsoever. He was a very, very good leader and I think he gets a lot of stick of course and these noblemen just don't know what they're talking about, trying to cause problems and limit my power. I mean, we'll see how that fares out. But the main objective is just to take and secure ourselves Paris. So we'll see how we manage to do that and hopefully make some good times along the way. And you never know, we might even go ahead and uh, assault the, the Welsh for some, some wool. Maybe we'll, we'll try and steal their sheep. I know the locals won't be too happy about that. Stealing their most prized possession. So already, them goddamn noblemen are causing some issues for me, the glorious King John. And I must say, I guess it does matter in our interest to go to war with France, but it's kind of cool that we have these events to, to tell the tale of the, uh, you know, the disorganized and disloyal kingdom of England. So we have the objective to go to war with France to basically please the nobles and show our strength. Or we can say that, well, there'll be no war and, you know, you know, learn from our mistakes in history and, uh, you know, sit in our castles, nothing ever bad happened there. But no, to war with France. And I believe the Holy Roman Empire should also come with us as well, which will be nice. But our armies are, you know, prepared to go. We already have won the Swords of Justice. We will go and invade Normandy, you know, a couple a couple hundred years, a little bit earlier. But we'll dive in and uh, try and secure ourselves some land, reconquer our lost land. So we've got ourselves a mission to please the nobility of England. We have to go ahead and reconquer Normandy, which is this province right here. I mean, we are already on our quest to go ahead and do so. And this will basically give us a nice little loyalty boost for 20 turns. So securing this is a must to avoid the Magna Carta, which, you know, I don't really want my power to be limited. So we will try our best to do this and please the nobility of England. Oh no, it seems like one of these disloyal vassals have actually met their end, unfortunately. I mean, who would have saw that coming? Natural causes in quotation marks. I mean, it seems like a lot of the other nobility are now trying to, uh, you know, lick their wounds after their best friend and leader has now died. So, I mean, I feel like I've got this under control, especially because Normandy is about to be ours. We're just going to go ahead and blockade it with a navy as well as sieging it. Easy times. Normandy is now ours. We've now got an indent into France. The Hundred Years' War is uh, happening a little bit earlier, but is in full force, and we should hopefully complete that mission next turn as well. Paris is, is the next target on the agenda. Whoever said winter campaigning in Ghoul was a bad idea does not know what they're talking about. Because look at this, we are just running through the French, we'll bring up another army. I think a lot of their soldiers are down here in the south fighting to lose. I've played as France before and it seems like that's kind of their main goal is to fight. Uh, to lose right off the bat, but even Burgundy isn't even helping them. So yeah, we're having a, a kind of an easy time of it, and I'm kind of disappointed in the French. They're giving up already, and that's not like them. They they don't never normally do that. So yeah, it's kind of disappointing. So it seems like Toulouse has kind of done all the all the heavy lifting in this war. You know, I've just kind of walked from city to city, securing it. We managed to take Paris, and now Orleans is soon to be ours. And I mean, what next? It's not really. 
seeming like France has anything left to fight. So this Hundred Years' War has been kind of disappointing. I guess we're going to have to look for someone else to try and conquer. And I mean, them pesky sheep over in Wales that are looking pretty tasty right now. I mean, honestly, the nobles need to make up their mind. I mean, sometimes they want us to go to war. Now they don't want us to go to war. They, they really need to decide. So we've gone ahead and got some War Warriors now, which is a, a new script added to the 1212 campaign. Reducing our morale. Our troops are unhappy, even though we're winning all the wars. But I guess war does play a, a big toll on the men, and they do just want to go back and, and visit their families. God, imagine this in the Alexander the Great time period there. This would be very, very high. Don't mind this. Just, you know, just finishing off France, we can't allow them to live right, so that's all Lean's taken care of. And I think their last province is just Lyon, and then that's France wiped out of the game. They could never get over to lose, and then with us in the north as well, I mean, we haven't even had to fight a proper French army. I don't know where any of them are. We still have to deal with Burgundy, though, before we do go and maybe secure the British Isles for the, the greater good of the, the King of England. You know, we're, we've done a pretty good job, though. If we look at the map and, and go to the, the faction overhaul, we have most of France, most of uh, Aquitaine. Things are definitely coming up England. Because Toulouse took out our main objective for this game by defeating the French armies at the beginning of the game, it's only right that we declare war on them, you know. You go ahead and punish them. Also, I'd love to obviously finish this one off by killing France as well. So, you know, even though we have a ton of treaties with them, we are the scurvy King John and, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll dive in and uh, see what we can get done in these battles and hopefully Toulouse will put up a bit of a fight against us as we prepare ourselves. Seems like the King of France is looking to go ahead and watch what we did to him to Toulouse. He's like, yeah, I've, I've been getting absolutely destroyed by the English. Now let's see how you like it, Toulouse. Um, I mean, it's not going to go well for them really, is it? There we go. Toulouse is down. And now I think it's time to go ahead and, you know, kill the, kill the French king and, and be done with him once and for all as he flees. And we can't chase him, no. Well, we're going to hunt him down to the ends of the earth. We'll kill him and go ahead and consolidate our power over the new glorious English kingdom, which is uh, shaping up doing pretty nice, especially once the Welsh are in. And again, I have lots of treaties with them, but I mean, King John doesn't give a fuck about them. He, ah, whatever, we'll, we'll just take the land we want. So who would have thought it? The Kingdom of Norway, the roaming band of Vikings, have come all the way down and killed the French. I don't really know why, but now the French are no longer in existence and our objective of create, you know, winning the Hundred Years' War has kind of succeeded. We're now no longer at war with anyone really of an importance. I mean, you know, we have a few issues. Apparently we're at war with Burgundy or Bavaria or even, I mean, I don't have any idea why. But yeah, the, the kingdom is looking beautiful. I guess we just have to go back home and, and deal with a few of these rabbles over in Scotland, Wales and Ireland and we're, we're good to call it a video, I think. So our king has just achieved the smooth talker trait and that must be how he got out of the issues with the Magna Carta. And on a real serious note, I think there's supposed to be a bunch more issues with the Magna Carta and the nobility rebelling. However, when that guy died of natural causes, if you remember at the beginning of the video, I think that has offset a lot of the scripts. And that's obviously why this campaign is currently in alpha to address stuff like that. So I'll obviously be reporting that bug to them and hopefully they'll be able to fix it because this seems like it has been quite an easy campaign and I'm sure as England I'm supposed to have received a ton of rebellions and stuff as all the nobility try and take me down. And uh, yeah, so I just thought I'd go ahead and mention that and stick that in the video oh yeah we're also about to go ahead and uh, take on the welsh and steal all their sheeps from under their pillows and you know, anger the locals but you know obviously secure ourselves a nice bit of territory and then i think you know i don't really want to go north beyond hadrian's wall because i mean whoever wants to go north beyond this godforsaken wall there's a reason we built a wall here and made scotland pay for it so i think that's uh, that's gonna be it oh no i think i angered the welsh by talking about their sheep in a bad light now they have rallied up their armies and they're ready to kick my ass i mean We'll, we'll fight this and see we'll see how things go. We've got a lot of bowmen, but so do they. But I mean, come on, we, 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 we'll do it in true English fashion and, and hit them with a ton of our archers and, and on our horses and hopefully things will be okay. Once again, people talk shit about the beautiful English weather, but I mean, just take a glance at this. It looks amazing, right? I mean, just look at the clear blue sky and the, the wonderful looking, you know, you can just see so far in front of you and it's just amazing. I mean, why would you not want to come to a place like this? on holiday I, I i don't know so i think it's you know a good time to go ahead and give them the taste of the old english bowman skill ship and we're gonna go ahead and start volleying some arrows ahead of our formation 
hitting them hard and, you know, teaching them a good old lesson, seeing what we can do as our front line prepares itself for the enemy to charge into us. I mean, they've got some pretty crappy units, but we also don't have a lot of great units either. So, you know, maybe they will actually stand a chance as they do come flying forward into my front line. But, I mean, the Englishmen, are, they, they've, got, they've got a lot to fight for, but I guess so do the Welsh. The Welsh are fighting for their sheep with these scary-ass axemen. Right, we go ahead and hit the Welsh with a good old hammer and anvil into their backs, trying to break them. I'm surprised of how well our front line has actually done, honestly. They're holding pretty decently, considering they are just spear militia going up against axemen and other sorts of infantry, which are much superior than mine. I definitely can't complain. We've also brought some of our English bowmen around the side to do some good old friendly fire. I mean, you know, Ramsey Bolton was definitely right there and you know, bring back some more infantry as well. So overall, battle's going okay. Losing my king bow, which is never a good idea. I mean, what's not to love? The king is now dead. But I mean, who even liked King John anyway? Definitely not me. Uh, that is for sure. I mean, I guess the nobility are going to be happy about that now that King John is dead. Oh my God, what have I done? So, you know, even though the king died, it seems like we managed to win the battle, and that's pretty awesome, you know? The, the men stayed true, and we definitely didn't lose it. I mean, I don't know what... I mean, it looks completely legit, and it was just an easy victory, and the Welsh just could not rally themselves to fight. Again, look at that, a perfect victory. You did great, Jackie. I mean, what's not to love right there? Uh, as you can see, the army on the left did take casualties, but it was 100% a victory for us and we definitely did not lose the battle so it's all good it's all good and i think that's where we're gonna i mean just ignore this obviously we're you know we're, we're fine we, we, again look at that perfect victory well done jackie you're the best number one guy in the world so you know we're, we're pretty chill and um you know king john definitely survived the battle he's just got a little bit of a red background and that's where we're gonna go ahead and end the video if you guys enjoyed these challenge videos let me know in the comments down below let me know what you want to see next and hopefully it will be just as successful as this one and i'll see you guys in the next one